All right, this is a quick question for you post trimmers. I got to ask the question right away because if I don't, because a lot of post trimmers have ADD, ADHD, they can't watch an entire video. So I'm going to make this really short. So these are two or three questions that post trimmers cannot answer when it comes to the post tribulation. Number one. Who are the people in heaven before Jacob's trouble, before the wrath of God? And I guess a, a question, a side question from that question is, do you believe that people live in heaven right now today? Answer this question as a post tribber Answer this question. Do you believe that when we die, we go straight to heaven? That's question number one. Question number two is, do you believe that we have a physical body living in heaven? I know the answer, and it's absolutely 100%. You have a physical body in heaven. We see that in the book of Revelation. So those are two questions. Answer that. So do you believe people are living in heaven right now today? Do you believe they have a physical body? And then... Another question is, who do you think is coming down from heaven in Revelation 19? I know the answer. It's Jesus Christ on a white horse with his armies behind him. Why do both, here's the question, why do post-tribbers believe that it is a procession that we get raptured? up to heaven and where's your scripture verse for it you can't use first thessalonians because that's jesus christ himself coming down from the clouds with those that we love they are with him and we are going to be gathered to meet him in the air so that we can be with him forever that's him alone gathering us so who's living in heaven right now why do we need why do you believe in a procession and why do we need to guide jesus christ down to earth why do we need to lead the way and where do you see that in the scripture where we are actually leading the charge to guide jesus back down to earth to help him find jerusalem where do you see that in the bible where do you see that when we're looking at Revelation 19 and we see Jesus Christ with his robe dipped in blood, getting on a white horse and coming down from heaven with his armies, who also have white robes, are following behind him, where is the procession that you guys believe? And where is the resurrection that you guys believe? Where's the verse for that, that there's a resurrection? Because don't forget, you still have to deal with Armageddon. And where is the Bema seat where Jesus Christ is handing out rewards? Where does that happen? And when do the resurrection of the quick and when do the resurrection of the dead happen? When is it? Lots of questions, right? But I don't think a post-tribber can answer any of those questions. You can't. Instead, you're going to go to the Greek. You're going to go to Hebrew and you're going to go to Latin. And you're going to say, this word means this. This word means that and all this kind of stuff. Not fully reading the book of Revelation where we see Armageddon. Jesus comes down with his, with his host, with his armies. Battle of Armageddon, Antichrist and the false prophet get tossed into the lake of fire alive. They get tossed into the lake of fire. Then we have a 1,000 year millennium kingdom. And then there's another battle. That's against the devil, which you forgot about, was locked in a pit for a thousand years. He gets released, goes out to the corners of the earth, and convinces Gog and Magog to come and attack Jerusalem, who is at peace. So, another question for post trippers Is Israel at peace today? Are they at peace? Do they have unwalled cities? Do they have zero protection? Another question. Is Jesus Christ reigning in 
Jerusalem today? Is he their king? Another question, are there 12 nations, 12 tribes, I should say, under one house in Israel today? Are all 12 tribes there in Israel today? Because a lot of post trippers will be quoting Ezekiel 38. So a lot of questions. Is Jesus reigning right now today in, in Jerusalem? When is the resurrection? I believe the resurrection is every single day. Whenever a person dies in Christ, he is resurrected with a new heavenly physical body that Jesus Christ himself designed. And we will be in heaven until he comes back down to earth and we will follow Jesus Christ back down to earth. So I know lots of questions for post trivers. I'm waiting to see one video or one answer in the comments. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.